give our best effort against a really great Louisville team who is, you know, arguably, you know, the best, best team in the nation, you know, playing really well. But, um, you know, we're, we're not going to we're not going to down ourselves and we're not going to be too high in the band. But, uh, you know, we're going to go, we're going to go in just uh, prepare the way we always prepare for every team. And, even though it is a national championship game, it's, it's, it's the highest level to be in college basketball. You know, we're just going to treat all the time. It's going to be really good. 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 It could be. It could be seen as fitting. I mean, I haven't followed uh, Louisville for college football. You know, they're perhaps a really good team, really talented. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we're playing against you. Know, we're playing against a tough team to finish it out. And any team that we would we play, you know, finish it out would be tough. But, you know, like you said, it almost is good. All season, you guys have been sort of a perimeter oriented team, but you know those guys start a little bit today. Do you think you maybe improved the point by showing you guys to win the points in the paint, rebounding, things like that? Yeah, I, I feel like we've done that a couple times, you know, this postseason. It's something that hasn't always been, you know, a strong, a strong suit. But um, when, when we're able to do things like that, we have so much more success. And, you know, just pulling out that win is a testament to that. Can you talk about how important it was this last few minutes just to stay focused and stay on your game? It was everything, you know, the culture and, uh, you know, keeping it calm in those last few minutes. It makes all the difference going down the stretch, especially when you have no timeouts left and you have to take care of the ball and you don't have any, you don't have an out. You have no out at all. So, you know, it just, just speaks to the level of the guys we have on this team that, you know, nobody tried to make any miraculous plays. Everyone just hit the same routine, the same ways, uh, and made the right eyes down the stretch. Was there a surprise when you guys had the no timeouts left? Did you guys have it in the back of your mind at all about the no timeouts? I mean, uh, when it, every time any team in America on any level, you know, when you're out of timeouts, you're out of timeouts, and you make it known that you're out of timeouts after them. I mean, obviously, we all know the history behind that, but um, I don't know how time Talk about the free throws. What's it like stepping through the line when the game is about? Like, wait, you've got to hit the line. I mean, at least one of them, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, what's your emotion like when, when, you, when you have to step up there? Uh, I think it's, you know, free throws are all about the process. It's like the process that you routine. And you just do the routine, you know, and you don't, to, like, typically when you shoot free throws, you're not just you're not supposed to think about it. When you just do your routine, the same thing every time. Talk about the last minute for Detroit. You know, just takes the charge and trash and then gets that open court. And the team is able to dunk. And with everything that he's been through, what's in mind now? How gratifying is that for him to be able to finish? That's huge for him, man. He's there. You know, he's putting so much work, and you know, he's been he's been so good defensively for for us this year. It's fitting that he took the charge, you know. And you know, if, if it would have been called the other way, who knows what happened? What happened? You know, it was, it was a huge play, biggest play of the game. What about the bench and the, and the way that the bench contributed, especially in the first half to get Spike and Kier? Yeah, anytime you get contributions like that off the bench, I feel like you know you're gonna have success. And uh, you know, Spike and Kier are the guys that you know we always expect to play well. You know how talented they are, how good they are, how consistent they are, especially in practice. You know, you just expect that to translate into uh, game sales. But Mitch is just getting kind of scary now at this point. I mean, what, what are you guys seeing from him every day? I mean, this is what we've seen all year. Like I've been saying, like, this isn't a surprise. Like, Mitch can do this. You just need the experience, the game experience. Like, it's something that we see, it's stuff that we see him doing practice all the time. When you get that actual game time experience, like, you, you can't replicate that. You know? So once he got that, he, he started having great success. And, you know, and we're all really proud of him. And, you know, he's been a huge, huge part of you know, our success this postseason. Talk about 